This is an important video regarding Office 365. Some students have been uh, sending me comments in Blackboard saying they couldn't do their assignment or they had trouble doing their assignment because not all the features were available in the online version of Office 365. They are correct. Not all the features are available in the online version. That is why you must install it. I talked about this in my intro uh, video, but um, I wanted to hit it again because I think it's getting missed. Um, so this is the interface that I have for Office 365. Yours might be a little different, but it should be similar enough to where if you're in the Office 365 online area, you should see a little um, box over here that says Install Office. If you click the down arrow there, there it says Office 365 Apps. You install those on your computer and you will have all the features that you need to be able to do these assignments. I'm also having, having a few students on Macs who are saying that they're doing, well, what they're doing is they're doing it in numbers and sending it to me like that. Numbers is not Excel. These are Excel applications, not numbers applications. And you're going to have a hard time with some of them as we go along uh, trying to do them in numbers. They all will not work. So what you need to do is install Excel on your Macs and do it using Excel. Okay, I installed this on my Mac. It works just fine. In fact, I update all the instructions over the summer to make sure that, that they were in sync. So you can do them on your Mac, but you have to install Office on your Mac computer. Okay, that's very important. Um, also, just a side note, um, when I'm grading, I get some comments from students saying, I didn't know how to do X, Y, and Z. Um, that's not the time to ask me because when I'm grading the assignment, if there's something you didn't understand, that's too late. Okay, what you need to do is start your assignments earlier so that when you have a question, you can ask me and we can actually resolve it. That way you don't get points taken away for something that you could have probably corrected yourself and learned from. So posting, hey, I don't know how to do this in a blackboard when I'm grading it, doesn't really do anything to help the learning process or to help you really get it figured out, okay? So just a couple little pointer on that. All right, I hope everyone uh, continues to have a good week. And like always, if you need me, please contact me.